Hey guys, what's going on? Anthony here with Piston Stock. You guys are probably like me and you are just, you can't wait for this draft lottery. You want to see where Detroit Pistons are going to be drafting. So I came across this article talking about three realistic draft options for your Detroit Pistons. And it was a website from Fansided called Sir Charles in Charge. And this Michael guy Breaks down each lottery team. So if you're a draft junkie and you really like the NBA draft, I am going to link his article down in the description. And you guys can check that out, okay? But we're focusing on your Detroit Pistons, okay? And these are his three targets for your Pistons. Tyrese Halliburton, Oneka Okwangu, and Killian Hayes. I know Lamella Ball did not make the list. I know there are probably people... As they're watching this video right now, typing, why doesn't he have LaMelo Ball on the list? Why isn't LaMelo on the list? And I think the reason why he did not mention LaMelo Ball was the simple fact that your Detroit Pistons draft odds for a top three pick are only 10.5, 10.5, and 10.6. And, and I said top three, okay? The reason I said top three is I believe this is my opinion. You might not agree with it. LaMelo Ball is going to be a top three pick in the 2020 NBA draft. That's just my opinion on it. You might think he could fall all the way down to maybe a fifth pick. But that's just me, okay? I know a lot of these teams, the Golden States, the Clevelands, the Minnesotas, Atlantas, they all have point guards. So why would they draft LaMelo Ball? Well, a couple reasons. They could use it as maybe a building block they could use it as a trade piece and get you know multiple uh draft picks or assets you never know with teams they could pull you know a dallas thing like they did with atlanta with the trey young and the luka Doncic type of trade that we saw a few years ago you never know what's going to happen on draft night but getting back to halliburton okongu and hayes if I had to pick, now this is me, this isn't you. I'm sure you're not going to agree with my opinion. Most of you don't, but that's okay. That's why I like to talk to you guys down in the comment section. I'm going to take Killian Hayes over Hella Burton and Okongwu. And I'm going to focus on Okongwu. To me, I don't really understand why he would pick him. I get it. Because there are the fans that say, you know, you have to draft the best player available. And, you know, that that is a very good strategy in a draft. But if you're looking at your Detroit Pistons right now and their front court depth, they really don't have a center to say. I mean, I guess you could put Christian Wood at center and you just signed Justin Patton. But you're pretty much telling the fan base, we don't think... Halliburton, Hayes are good enough to play off our bench behind Derrick Rose. And we're going to go target a point guard in free agency. And to me, that would be a very bad strategy because it's going to cost you more money in free agency to go get a point guard. And the point guards out of outside of Fred Van Vliet are very, you know, they're either old or they're really young. So... Okongu to me does not make much sense, but I'm not going to deny Okongu is a very nice prospect. To me, he's the best big man in this draft. I don't really know what you would categorize him, maybe a power forward, a center. Um, the only case you could probably make for him is maybe the Pistons want to move on from Blake Griffin and you feel he can replace Blake Griffin eventually, but I don't see that as the case. I, I see Blake playing out his contract in Detroit. Now, as for Halliburton, Halliburton, to me, is one of the most interesting prospects for point guards, for the simple fact that he's the best shooting point guard in this draft, but his shot is very unorthodox. And to me, I don't really see him as a point guard long term. I see him more of a shooting guard, combo guard type of thing. 
I think he's capable of playing point guard if he needs to, but after watching a lot of highlights of him on YouTube, um, I'm going to be honest with you, he looks more comfortable playing off the ball and playing that shooting guard position. I don't really know if the Pistons feel comfortable with taking a guy like that. So that's the main reason why I'm choosing Killian Hayes. To me, Killian Hayes is a guy that is very comfortable in a pick and roll situation. I think most of his offense is out of a pick and roll set. And that's good because we have some big guys that he can play that pick and roll offense that he's comfortable with. You got Blake Griffin, you got Christian Wood, we have Justin Patton now. Um, depends who we go out in free agency. Maybe we sign a big man in free agency. He could run more pick and roll sets with. You also have to remember he is very close with our rookie, or it's not a rookie anymore, but Seku and Boya. Those two are very good friends. I know that probably doesn't mean squat to anybody, but the fact that they have chemistry, um, I think it will help them when they play together because let's say we do draft Killian Hayes. Killian Hayes most likely is going to be a bench player with Seku and Boya on the bench. And having a Killian Hayes and Seku off your bench, they already have the chemistry together. So I think that would be a very good draft pick if the Pistons were to go with Killian Hayes. I want to know what you guys think, though, because I want to, you know, get your insight, your opinions. What do you think? If you had to pick between Tyrese Halliburton, Oneka Okwangu, and Killian Hayes, who are you drafting? Let me know down in the comment section, and I'll talk to you guys down there.